Hey, when we have radical expressions in equations and graphs, we need to kind of think of what are domain restrictions when we have variables in there. We cannot have negatives inside the square root. So there's an inside restriction and there's also an outside restriction. So when we have these single radicals, we definitely need to know our inside restriction. So the inside restriction is that this expression, 5 minus 2x, it must be 0 or bigger. So I can solve this for x. So x must be less than or equal to 5 over 2. So we could also think if, if we have the, the bigger x gets, the more negative it gets. So we know that we should we want to stay on the positive side. So we want to make this smaller and smaller to keep it on the positive side. So we know that inequality should be x is less than. Okay, And notice that when I solve this, I move the x to this side so I didn't have to divide by the negative because if I divide by the negative, I have to remember to flip the inequality sign. So there's my restriction. There's my domain restriction. And that's, since this is an expression, it only has an inside restriction. This equation has, we really should have an inside and outside uh, restriction, but these are more complicated. So just make it clear, I will not expect you to deal with outside restrictions on the domain for the square root for these ones. We're only going to deal with inside restriction. In fact, maybe I'll just make sure that's clear. So there is an inside restriction, okay, which is which means that we're, our restrictions are not complete. So when we solve this, it, we cannot rely on our restrictions to, to uh, determine extraneous solutions. So this is incomplete, okay, because we're only going to do an inside restriction here. Here from that one, we're going to say that x must be less than or equal to 2. And we also know that x must be greater than or equal to negative 8. Okay, so we know that we can put these together and say that x has to be between negative 2, or for positive 2, and negative 8. And that only represents the inside restriction, so that's not a complete domain restriction. So we just have to be a little bit careful and not use that for to determine extraneous solutions. We're going to test, okay? We're going to test our solutions. So let's go ahead and solve this, okay? We're going to solve this uh, equation here. And let's do this. 2 minus x is equal to 4 minus square root x plus 8. We're going to square both sides of this. Okay, this is, remember where this is where we could possibly introduce extraneous solutions. Since this is a binomial, we have to remember to expand that binomial. Okay, so there's our Expansion. So I'm going to group. I'm going to move everything to the left-hand side except for the square root. And actually, let's move the square root to this side. So I'm going to make it positive square root x plus eight. That's going to be equal to 16 minus two is 14, and that's going to be x plus x, which is 2x. And then we have our plus eight. So I'm going to group all that together. So we end up with 22 plus 2x. Uh, let's divide by 8. And so we end up with uh, 11 plus x all over 4. Okay, and then solving the second square root, we need to square that to get rid of that. So we end up with x plus 8. I probably should have put the, left this, the 4 on the other side there. In fact, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to back up a step here. I'm going to leave that coefficient of 4 on this side. So we'll just divide everything by 2. Then square it. 
that means that that will leave that coefficient on this side and it's a little bit easier to keep track of than with a fractal.